بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد إن سورة مريم الله سبحانه وتعالى shares the story of Ibrahim عليه السلام and how we convey the message of Allah to his own father which in itself has countless lessons for any child who wishes to present the message of sincerity, the message of truth, the message of what is right versus what is wrong to someone like a father or an uncle or a grandfather someone who is older than you you never disrespect an elder let alone your own father or your own uncle under any circumstances even when you know 100% that they are wrong so at one point Sayyidina Ibrahim salam said to his father يَا أَبَتِي إِنِّي أَخَافُ أَنْ يَمَسَّكَ عَذَابٌ مِنَ الرَّحْمَانِ فَتَكُونَ لِلشَّيْطَانِ وَلِيَّ O my dear father And this is how he always addressed his father O my dear father Never addressed him in any other way But always with respect With sincerity He was keen on delivering the message And he had that love for his father that any son would have and he certainly did not want his father to be thrown in hellfire so he did everything within his own power to convey the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to save his father from the error and from falsehood and even after his death Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us in Surah At-Tawbah مَا كَانَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ مَا كَانَ إِسْتِغْفَارُ إِبْرَاهِيمَ لِأَبِيهِ إِلَّا عَمْ مَوْعِدَةٍ وَعَدَهَا إِيَّا فَلَمَّا تَبَيَّنَ لَهُ أَنَّهُ عَدُوٌ لِلَّهِ تَبَرَّ أَمِنْ Even after his death, or perhaps when he moved away, Ibrahim a.s. didn't certainly know the exact time of death of his father. But when he moved away, when he migrated from Iraq and he went to Palestine, he went to Egypt and all those uh, journeys uh, took place after that. So he continued to pray for his father and he continued to ask Allah to forgive his father. So he would say, oh Allah, forgive my father. Literally the words are mentioned in Surah Al-Shu'ara, وَغْفِرْ abi إِنَّهُ كَانَ مِنَ الضَّالِينَ Oh Allah, forgive my father because he was on the wrong path he was on error so at one point ibrahim salam says to his father oh my beloved father inni akhafu an yamassaka adabun min ar-rahman and i'm afraid that punishment from the most merciful from ar-rahman will touch you will catch you it's important to reflect on the words here. Ayyamasaka adabu min rahman He didn't say the punishment may touch you from al qahar which is one of the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Or as Allah says in Surah Al Ghafir, Ghafir al Dam wa Qabil al Taw Shadid al Iqab. He didn't say may the punish I'm afraid the punishment from the one who punishes most severely may touch you. He said, the punishment from the one who is the most merciful may touch you. Which can only happen when you have crossed all the limits. When there is nothing left that you deserve mercy for. So, when there is even 1% of something that you have done that you deserve mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for, there is a chance that you will get the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But when you have crossed all the limits, and you haven't given yourself even 1% chance of deserving and being worthy of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then even the most merciful may punish you. So even that punishment comes at a point 
when there is nothing else left, you have done nothing good in your life. That's exactly what Ibrahim السلام, was saying to his father that you have reached a point that there is nothing that you have done good in your life and there's nothing that you can present to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala oh Allah give me credit for that at least there, no nothing he can present to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for which he can request a credit from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so in that case may the adab of the most merciful may touch you as well inni akhafu an yamassaka adab min ar-rahman fatakuna li shaytani waliya and you will become an ally of shaytan because the allies of shaytan are the ones who are uh, worthy of the adab of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa akhiru da'wana alhamdulillah